<laughs> it's numb right now, and I like to pay, so leave me the hell alone. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you people? What? That was what I thought you were going to answer. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that. Well, I, I let him go out on the limb a little farther. You should have just cut it down. Yeah, I probably should have, but <clears throat> I'll sit down when it hurts. Whatever. Will you also sleep when you're dead? Yeah. Yes. No, I'll really cut the tree down. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'll be fine. Thanks for that encouragement, Jason. I, I, I will take it under review and do absolutely nothing with it. So, yeah. <laughs> My wife was cheering because I said, it's a meniscus tear. She said, finally! It's like, what is wrong with you, woman? <laughs> what, are you rooting for me to have my knee replaced or something? What? Oh, my gosh, my family. <clears throat> All right, any, any, <laughs> let's move on. Any, any conversations or anything? Anybody have anything you notice? <clears throat> Okay, so this is where we're going to go. That's what I call the scandal of grace. (laughs) Some of our problem oftentimes when we talk about grace is we know it too well. And we know it so well that uh, it has no effect on us whatsoever anymore. We don't really see it as a scandal when in fact it was. The first introduction of this notion was scandalous. Um, I I presume that there are enough biblical scholars in here to know where the word scandal came from. Anybody know? Anybody know? No? Yes. (laughs) Scandalos or scandalon. The Greek word for to make one stumble. Scandal on was literally how Paul characterized grace, and and the thing that makes it such that it's in, it's really hard for us to to, to kind of fit it into our head, um, <clears throat> and the scandal of grace and, and what goes with it is part of the reason why it's such an issue. Okay, the the we've already had our rant session about churches and what they do or don't do with grace. Some of it is because we don't want to hear about it. It's not so much the church's problem, but it, it, it is partly our own, and, it, and really it falls on our doorstep. So the one question I want to propose to you is what are we undertaking? Are we undertaking a reformation or a transformation? And where this comes from, some of you guys have heard me talk about this before, but where it comes from is Romans 12, where Paul talks about don't be what? Don't be blank, but be blank. Don't be conformed to this world, but be... You're so sharp, I can't stand it. The The thing to keep in mind about that is Paul... Paul makes a quantum leap, literally, in that verse, where he goes from being conformed, which is literally the picture, is the Play-Doh factory. I'm sure it wasn't in his brain, but you put Play-Doh in, and you press it down, and it comes out. That's conformed. That's pressed into. That's where that word comes from. And then he makes this quantum leap to transformed, and the Greek word underlying that is metamorphosis, where we get the word metamorphosis, literally to become something other than that. The reason I put up, are we, are we looking for a reformation or transformation, is we put our own word in between conform and transform, and it's reformed. And reformed, as I put up here, is, is really built on our own personal effort, our own personal precision and measurement. And the thing to keep in mind in reformation is that the building materials all stay the same. Now, you guys are sharp people. You can probably figure out what the building materials are. It's a metaphor for you. 
in your heart. And oftentimes what we settle for is reformation because transformation requires trust. <clears throat> it requires time and it requires freedom. That's how transformation works. Paul also says later in another letter, he says, work out your, your salvation with fear and trembling. That's not in fear that you're going to do it wrong. It's in awe that you get to participate with God in it. That's what he's after. <clears throat> so the whole idea behind transformation is that the building materials fundamentally become different over time by trusting we, we know we've got kind of two different sides of the coin that we contend with here. On the one hand, Paul says, participate in it. <clears throat> Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. On the other side, he says, whatever Jesus has started in you, he will see it to completion. So it's, it's two sides of the same coin. We are to participate in it. We are to participate in our own transformation. We revert back to reformation because that's always within our reach. It is always within our reach. And that's why grace is such a problem in a lot of, in a lot of cases. One, one quote, justification by grace through faith is the theologian's learned phrase for what Chesterton, G.J. Chesterton referred to as the furious love of God. The furious love of God. Brennan Manning referred to it as the furious longing of God. We get caught in our theology and we forget about our psychology. <clears throat> and those things are intertwined. <clears throat> Here's another one from Brennan. Though lip service is, is paid to the gospel of grace, many Christians live as if only personal discipline and self-denial will mold the perfect me the emphasis is on what I do rather than on what God's, God is doing. <clears throat> One more quote. The great revolutions of our time, the Christian revolutions, come not by the discovery of something that was not known before. They happen when somebody takes radically something that was always there. The poster child for this was Martin Luther, if you read uh, Eric Metaxas' uh, uh, biography of Martin Luther, it is one of the few books I've read that has the word shice in it more than I can count. Now, you guys can guess what that is, right? <clears throat> yeah, the outhouse. And Luther, in, in where he found and discovered 200 proof grace, was in the shice house. And he walked out as if the gates of paradise had been opened to him and nobody could stop him because he began to realize just exactly what grace actually means in terms of the freedom that it offers us. <clears throat> now, let me give you an example of, of something. And before I show you this, this is the, what I'm referring to is, is transformation in three scenes. And what I mean by this let me qualify something first, okay? Um, I want it to be known that I am not a lover of musicals. <laughs> I am not. The problem is, is probably two of the most profound movies that I love because of what they portray about redemption and about grace are musicals, <laughs> which is irritating. It's <laughs> fantastic. Huh? <laughs> so, um, that being said, yes, Les Mis is one of them. You want to guess? It has the same actor in it. Titanic. <laughs> you don't want to be connected to that comment. Okay. Annie. Annie? What the? You are insane. You're in the right class, but you're insane. Beg your pardon? The Greatest Showman. 
Well, I'm glad you agree. I don't really give a rip, but that's fine. <clears throat> Hugh Jackman was the common denominator between those two things. Okay. Now, what I want, what I, what I collected for you is three specific scenes that occur in Les Mis. <laughs> See, it was worth waiting for. <laughs> the thing to keep in mind is. All you guys know about Les Mis, right? Everybody familiar with it? Storyline, you're not familiar with it? No. You aren't either? Okay. Um, if, you want, if you want something to read all summer, <laughs> read Les Mis. <laughs> the shortened version is, is these musicals. Um, <clears throat> and the two main characters are walking, breathing examples of grace and shame, the two main characters in it. And they each respond to grace differently, which is also profoundly portrayed here. Um, so let me, let me show you these, <clears throat> and then we'll unpack them a little bit in light of what we're talking about here t today. So here's the first one. <clears throat> You guys are pathetic. Coming soft when you are weary. And the night is cold out here. Though our lives are very humble. But we have, we have to share. 